Well, good Friday, everybody. We are here in Cherokee, North Carolina, and we are finally getting to try a place. We've been wanting to try for about a year now, uh, ever since one of our uh, subscribers and viewers, uh, Sandra, told us about this place. They got really good hamburgers. Uh, they're closed on Saturday, and every time we've been through Cherokee since then, it's been on a Saturday or after hours. But today, we are camping just on the mountain above Cherokee at Mile High, so we decided to come down here for lunch on a Friday, and we're going to try this place today. It's BJ's Diner. It sits right here off of Highway 19. It'll be on your right if you're headed towards Great Smoky Mountains National Park, on your left if you're coming from it. But we're right here on the Cherokee Indian Reservation in Cherokee, and we're looking forward to trying the place you see behind us. Okay, so it is just a little metal building here right off the Highway 19, and according to the sign, they have the best burgers in town. There's the phone number. It's Buddy and Bobby Joe's Diner. They also have soft serve ice cream. And they're here, best burgers in town. That's the claim, so let's um, walk over here and look at the scenery. We got It's nothing but outdoor dining or pickup, so uh, several tables over here in the shade. You got the river in the background. So down here is the beautiful Oconalufti River. They do not have free refills. Here's the menu. You get two. Go up. Okay. So. Can I get a Can I get a Coke? Here's a specialty burgers. I apologize for the glare. These are the only menus that got hanging in the window here. He likes basically all the others. And here are other hours, and this is why we have never been able to eat here on a Saturday before. Seven to two every day except Saturday and Sunday, and they are closed. I don't know what in the world this yeah. is, but maybe that thing could put a hurting on you. See that bug? <laughs> Yep. $30.07. Your number will be 82. Not too much Everything ice. Everything is made to order, so when it's ready, we just scream that number out the window. Okay. This machine. This is the other side, uh, the other view of the river, so. You're basically right across from the Shell Station and the Indian Summer Moccasins and Gift Store. I will go ahead and say now, there do not appear to be any restrooms. So, if, you, if you're one of these like I am that has to wash your hands after you eat, and I, I'm kind of phobic about that uh, before and after, you might want to bring your own soap and your own water so that's just me but no bathrooms okay tell us what you got here at BJ's I got a hamburger with all the toppings so what was that lettuce tomato pickles ketchup mustard I think it had like every condiment yeah. on it and then yeah, the lettuce, tomato, onions pickles yeah. yeah and then I got you basically got a hamburger rings. all the way and then onion rings and you got french fries and I got yeah, I got French fries. I got what's called the Bubba Burger, and I will go ahead and make you aware of this. Uh, the Bubba Burger is nine forty nine, and you have to order fries separately. Fries and drinks are separate. Fries and drinks are separate. are separate. Yeah, so there's not like a combo meal, but 
Mine is double bacon, double cheese. Uh, it comes with all that other stuff, but I just told her mayonnaise, pickles, and tomato uh, to hold the onions and lettuce. Mm -hmm. And no ketchup or mustard. So um, I pretty much get my burgers the same way everywhere I go. Unless I'm getting a mushroom burger. And I, they had one. I thought about it. But honestly, I've had several mushroom burgers here lately yeah. and on the Minnesota trip. Culver's, Red Robin. So anyway, decided to go with something a little different today. Plus, we are planning to drive on over to Bryson City for dessert. And what are we going to get for dessert in Bryson City? Dream Whip. Dream Whip. Correction. They do have restrooms. It's this storage shed here. I thought that was just what it sounded. Now, it's currently occupied, so I'm not going to stand here with a camera on it. But um, I do want to correct that. I said there were no restrooms, but there are. So. Okay, so our order is out. Um... Shawnee's gonna break out the food and make sure everything's right. And yeah, your burger feels nice and heavy. Yeah, if it's called Bubba, it needs to be heavy. <laughs> that looks like a Bubba burger. Yep. So and it looks like they got they it got, right. And huh? Looks like they got a lot of cheese. Well, pull that like back off. I see an onion. Is that onions? Right there. Is no. that what is that? Looks like bacon. Okay. So hopefully that is just bacon. Let's see yours. Mine's just a regular hamburger. That's pretty basic. Yeah, it is. And then, I got onion rings. Those actually look good for onion rings. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to hear what you think of those. It's a good looking batter on them. Good and regular crinkle cut fries. I don't know if you want salt. Yeah. So go ahead take you about a something there we we already prayed you hear that crunch very crunchy yeah they're good you good good and crunchy mm -hmm. good flavor yep okay so here comes the verdict if these are the best burgers in Cherokee we've only eaten burgers in one other place in Cherokee they're good they don't have like a grilled taste or a smoked taste, but they're good and that's a good, you know, size patty in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just finished up lunch here at BJ's Diner in Cherokee, North Carolina. Um, I'm sorry the dogs are in the background. I was actually told the other day how distasteful that is. So um, if you think it is, you might not want to watch this close out. They travel with us. That's that. So Our little friends. Yeah apologizing for that but anyway I uh, probably shouldn't even say anything about that I just happened to look and see them this I didn't notice them the time the person complained about it but uh, just now saw them this time I wasn't planning on saying that so forgive me um, you get a lot of uh, interesting criticisms but anyway we want to tell you about BJ's Diner um, here in Cherokee you saw the outside of it it's just a little metal building uh, off the side of the road a uh, very popular place. Mm -hmm. This this is not somewhere that we probably ever would have thought to start. I remember many, many years ago when I was a, uh, a kid, this was ice cream place. Uh, or right in, the, in this area, there was an ice cream place right along the river. But never been here since it's been BJ's Diner. This was recommended to us by one of our viewers and subscribers, as I mentioned. Her name is Sandra. Um, so we've been wanting to try it ever since she mentioned. She said that they had some really, really good burgers. Uh, we actually were going to come here last October, the day we did a review of the uh, farmstead out there in the National Park, which was the last month legally we could have done that, so glad we got that in. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but anyway, we came here that day and they were closed. It was a Saturday. We were very surprised, but they don't open Saturday or Sunday. So we came here today because we're rarely in Cherokee on a Friday. So um, been wanting to try it for almost a year. So yeah. I'm going to let you start tell what you had so I got just the regular burger with all the toppings so lettuce tomato onion pickles <clears throat> um, mayonnaise and ketchup and the burger you can tell it was hand patted out I mean it, mine wasn't like overly thick but it wasn't too thin either to me it was like just right and the burger had a good flavor I mean not like a smoky char grilled so I'm assuming they just fried it but it was good my burger was good um, the onion rings um, they were really good. I don't know if those were deep fried or baked or what, but those were like <clears throat> super crispy. Um, no complaints whatsoever about my meal at all. It was really good. And it was relatively quick. 
you know. Yeah, I had to stand and wait a few minutes. I mean, there was a lot made of people. To order. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of people here. Yeah, a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't it wasn't too bad at all. Um, the only, I'm sorry, were you? I'm done. Okay, would you come again? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I want to start from the top. Uh, when I, I first, I did make a mistake. I did tell y'all that there was no restrooms. Uh, I did see the little store. It's just a little storage building. Uh, I did see it. I just didn't think that was restrooms. There is actually a little sign above the doors I did not notice. I think you noticed Yeah, it. I noticed. I just was standing um, there waiting, yeah. and then I just had to look up and saw it. So, those are restrooms. Now, it is just one. It's basically male and female, but at least it's advertised that way, so that's not a problem. Uh, it was you just, you, you want to knock clean. on the door before you go in. Yeah, I mean, you can lock it. Oh, sorry. It keeps sliding. Uh, so, anyway... So they don't, they do have a restroom. There was no soap in it, just water. So we actually fortunately had hand sanitizer that we just put on our hands and rinse off. Um, so I got the, uh, what was it called? Boss, no, Bubba, Bubba, Burger. Burger. Bubba Burger. They got something called a, they got names for different ones. Uh, but this was basically double cheese, double bacon. And I ordered a separate order of crinkle cut fries. Now the fries um, are just what you would get out of your grocery frozen section in your grocery store. Those are nothing to write home. In fact, I'm going to say something right now. I'm sorry, that keeps sliding. I'm going to say something right now, and y'all better sit down because y'all are not prepared to hear me say this. The onion rings were better than the fries. And you know I don't eat onions. I did try about her onion rings because when she bit into that thing, I heard I heard this crunch. You'll hear it on the video. And I said, that actually sounds good. I, what I don't like about onions is the texture of them. I thought that, that batter might be crispy enough to you didn't notice that. yeah to rule out the texture so she gave me a bite and i was honestly more impressed with the onion rings for this is a guy that does not eat onions as y'all know uh, i was more impressed with the onion rings than i was the fries um the burger it's advertised as the best burger in town i would not argue with that because um even though we've not eaten burgers everywhere that cherokee has burgers we have eaten one other place this place is hands down 10 times better than that other place. Um, I'm not going to name them. Their burgers are decent. This burger was outstanding, honestly. Um, like she said, it wasn't a smoky flavor, but it was... Um, it was still good flavor. If you, if you have in your town a little place, just a, like a little diner that sells the best burger you've ever had, that's what this is. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you what it reminds me of. There's a place in Charlotte, just outside of Charlotte. Yeah, I think it just shut down recently. It was called Brooks Sandwich Shop. It's a little bit out of town, but uh, one of the owners, I think two brothers owned it, or maybe a father and son, might have been two brothers. One of them was murdered a few years back, but they kept it going, and I think recently they just shut it down, or they're getting ready to shut it down. But that burger, I went there one time, that burger was amazing. It actually was rated, I think, the best burger in North Carolina one year. I'd put this right up here with that. Um, it's very similar, in my opinion. So I would definitely, if I'm ever in Cherokee again on a Friday, I think this is where I'm going to come because I really, really like, I, th I think that was one of the best burgers I've had. I had burgers at Culver's, which was very good. Uh, on our Minnesota trip, had burger at Red Robin, was very good. I'd put this above them both. That's just me. They had one that I wanted to try. <clears throat> it was called a Dodge Burger. It's actually a grilled cheese with a hamburger in it. A and grilled thought, cheese? Yeah, that would be interesting. I thought that sounded good to be cheesy. I thought it could yeah. maybe like a patty melt kind of like. I wasn't sure. Yeah. But I thought that will be for next time. So I'm just going to say thank you to Sandra. This is probably not a place we would have thought to stop if you hadn't suggested it. And I'm glad you did because that's one of the best burgers I've had in a while. Um, and I'm not just saying that. That that was that was good. I mean, it it, mine good. had plenty of cheese on it. Was Yours was double good size. cheese. Yeah. Double burger. Uh, double it, that hit the patty. spot. I will come here again, most definitely. I'll make it a point to. I think next time I do want to try their mushroom burger. I think that would be really good with mushrooms on it, what I just had. So yeah, overall, I'm I'm a happy man because I thought that was one of the best burgers I've had in a while. So if you're coming through Cherokee and can't figure out where to eat, look, Cherokee is not known for its fine dining. If you're good with a cheeseburger, this is a ticket right here. Yeah. So anyway, that's my review. Thumbs up. Absolutely. So if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.